Hello mathematicians. Today we're going to be learning about whole numbers, more specifically how to divide by three digit numbers. In this video we will get a remainder with our answer, but we'll learn how to deal with it so that we can write our final answer as a decimal. To get us started, we have 627 divided by 250. We're going to set this up using long division. So, 627 is going to go on the inside since that's our dividend, and 250 is going to go on the outside since that's our divisor. Now we're going to see how many times does 250 go into 6. And well, it doesn't because 250 times 0 is equal to 0, and 250 times 1 is equal to 250, and that's too large. Now, for that same reason, 250 does not go into 62. So now we're going to move on and see how many times 250 goes into 627. Now it goes into it two whole times, and that's because 250 times 2 is equal to 500, and that's as close as we could get without passing 627. So we're going to write the value down here, and we are going to subtract these two to see how much we have left over. So 627 minus 500 is equal to 127. Now, in order to keep going to get our decimal answer, we have to add a decimal after the 7 in 627, and then a 0 as well. And then we're going to look at our quotient here and add a, a decimal place after the 2 as well. We're going to bring down the 0, and now we want to see how many times 250 goes into 1,270 and it goes into it five times, and that's because 250 times five is equal to 1,250, and that's as close as we could get without passing that value. So we're gonna write it down here, and we are going to subtract these two values to see what we have remaining. So 1,270 minus 1,250 is equal to 20. Now we're going to add another zero and we're going to keep going at least to the thousands place or if this decimal stops before that. And so we're going to bring down our zero. And now we're going to see how many times 250 goes into 200. Now 250 times zero is zero. 250 times one is 250 and that's too large. So we do have to write a zero here, and 250 times zero is equal to zero, so we are going to write that value down here and subtract. 200 minus zero is equal to 200. We are going to add another zero and bring it down. So now we're going to see how many times does 250 go into 2,000. And the answer to that is... 8 because 250 times 8 is equal to 2,000. We're going to write the 2,000 underneath and we are going to subtract these two values and we have no other remainder. So our exact answer is 2 and 508 thousandths. However, we normally round to the hundredths place. So our answer is about 2 and 51 hundredths. All right. And usually we round to the hundreds place because a lot of times we are talking about things like money. And so when we are dealing with values like money, we would write $2.51 as opposed to writing two and five hundred and eight thousandths because our smallest value for money is pennies, which is in the hundreds place. All right. And now we're going to do our next example, which is 2,040 divided by 480. And now we're going to set this up using long division. And that means that 2,040 goes on the inside since that's our dividend. And then 480 goes on the outside since that's our divisor. First, we want to see how many times 480 goes into 2. And well, it doesn't because 480 times 0 is 0. And 480 times 1 is 480, and that's too large. 
And for that same reason, 480 does not go into 20. And for that very same reason, 480 does not go into 204. But 480 does go into 2040 four times. And that's because 480 times 4 equals 2920. We're going to write that value down here, and we are going to subtract. All right, and 2,040 minus 1,920 is equal to 120. All right, so now to get our decimal answer, we are going to write a decimal after the 2,040 and add a zero as well. And after our quotient, which is four right now, we are going to add a decimal place as well and bring down this zero. Now we want to see how many times 480 goes into 1,200, and it goes into it two whole times, and that's because 480 times 2 is equal to 960. So we're going to write that down, and we are going to subtract these two values. 1,200 minus 960 is equal to 240. And so we're going to keep going. We're going to go at least till the thousands place unless this decimal stops before then. We are going to add a zero and we are going to bring down our zero. And now we need to see how many times 480 goes into 2400. And it goes into it five times because 480 times five is equal to 2400. We're going to write the value down here, and we are going to subtract. And we have no remainder, so we stop here since our decimal has stopped, and we have no remainder.